It's Sean from Shooty School. I just released my Easy Drama 3's Drums Tab course. It's a full curriculum for beginners just starting out all the way to advanced users. From simply defining features to advanced workflows so you can get your own custom drum tones from two tracks Easy Drama 3. There's 15 videos, over two hours of content. I zoom in and out of the screen so you can see the details and smaller text, and I'm on screen with you while you watch the course. So there is a presence of energy, momentum, and encouragement. Check out the reviews at shootyschool.com and consider picking up Shooty School's Drums Tab course and bring your Easy Drummer 3 skills to the next level. Check out a free video from the course. The link is down there in the description. Or come over to my YouTube channel, Shooty School, to get a vibe of my teaching and production styles. Rock on. If you're not watching live, waiting for this stream to start, and you're watching the restream, go ahead and fast forward to the five minute mark where I start the show. But before you do, here's some resources where you can go to get support or socialize about Tune Track stuff. On Facebook, there's the Tune Track Users Group. It's a great community. Jay Rock over there is great with keeping up to date on Tune Track's press releases and product announcements. There's also the Tune Track Easy Drummer Group on Facebook. It's it's easy drummer only and it's a fantastic place for beginners to go or if you want to hang out with me and get my support I have the shooty schools tune track speak easy Facebook group I show up there once a day I provide support and socialize and I also have a discord server Besides that, I do have a members program. There's two paid tiers. They're both really inexpensive where you can see either pre-release content or get exclusive content and support from me personally. Also keep in mind, the first Saturday of every month, I do this stream live. So subscribe so you can get into the chat. You can shoot questions at me. Sometimes the users in the chat dictate what happens in the stream. Sometimes I have some prepared content Anything goes, anything can happen. So hang out for another moment or two and we'll get this stream started. you a merry metal month i wish you a merry metal month i wish you a merry metal month and an easy exhale good tidings to you wherever you are post in the chat where you guys are watching from i wish you a merry metal month and an easy exhale
Trying to get my chat up, one second. What's up guys, Sean here from Shooty School. How you feeling today? Rich, thanks for being a member. Thanks for coming through. Jaybird, what's up? Pennsylvania. David from Georgia, thanks for coming back. It's nice to see you, David. And Mark, the shining hour. What's up, dude? England. It's the violence inherited in the system. Someone from England might get that. Swamp, Florida, what's up, dude? John, thanks for coming, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for being a member. Metal Month is finally here. You got it, Tom. Thank you. I've seen you comment on a few of my videos. Thank you so much for the comments, dude. I'm effing pumped for effing Metal Month. Mark from Oklahoma, welcome. Frank, San Diego, welcome back. How are you guys feeling? So I'm going to attempt to do the ultimate Easy X metal themed guide. We'll see. I've been wanting to do this as a video for such a long time. And now that it's metal month, I thought I might be able to pull it off live. So let's see what's happening. What's up, Mike? Welcome. So let's just, well, let's run through real quick. Anthony is not going to be on the mic today, which is a bummer. Anthony's my co-host. He's the Sind Knight in the chat. I reset up my stream for today. And for some reason, I couldn't get his audio in. So that's my fault. Anthony is absolutely amazing. He keeps the show rolling. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to tell me if I'm messing up live unless I notice the chat. So I'm kind of working with no safety net today. Thank you so much, Anthony. I put his Facebook link in the chat. If you know Anthony the past almost year, he's been helping me out. If you appreciate him, click on his Facebook page and, and uh, give him a like. Hop over to his Patreon. Buy him a coffee. I'm going to do that later. I should. Thank you, Anthony. <coughs> anyway, anyway. Um, see what do we got here oh yeah check out my channel blah 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 there's my website it's metal month people let me just see if they have my second episode up yet because i did deliver it just my first episode so i have my got writer's block episode on tune track so check that out afterwards john you're the best man you're the best. I hope you're into metal. I know you're a rock guy. I hope you're into metal. Whether you're into metal or not, we're going to hear a lot of polished drum sounds. Metal typically overproduces and processes its sounds, which can work for many genres, poppy genres, all the pop stuff you hear. So hope you guys dig it. Anyway, here's the episode to Metal Month, episode one this year. Check it out. I wonder if that leads directly to me. Crap. I should probably put that back in there. Let me see. Let me see. I'm Sean from. That's me. I'm Sean from Shooty School. Here we go. When you're done with the stream, you haven't seen this episode yet. Episode number one. Check out that link. Could use some good comments because that video got a bad false start. I put it out for 24 hours, got a bunch of hits and comments. I had an audio issue. I had to re upload it. So it's going a little slow. So, anyway. Andante, what's up, dude? Well, you got this one in last month. I botched last uh, um, live stream, so hopefully I don't do that this. So anyway, the Metal Month website is up. Bunch of cool interviews. Only a couple videos so far, including yours truly. Uh, lots more coming. I have three more episodes plus this live stream this month, so I'm hustling it this month, guys. Oh, Tune Track Users Group, great place to go. Might as well do a quick plug, real quick. And we have the Tune Track Easy Drummer Group. We're going to get right to it, guys. Oh, so we're going to audition an absolute ton of stuff today. 
And I have some strings in the background. I have just some guitars and some bass in the background. I'm gonna set them low in the mix because we're listening to drums today. But if we hear drums for 60 minutes straight, I think we're gonna go bonkers. So I have some metal strings in there. So I'm using two songs, guitar riffs from two songs. Frank, I'm gonna thank you in a second. The first song I'm using is from this year's Metal Month song that I wrote, and that's in the videos. And the second song I'm using today while we audition Easy X's. This is probably better, even though there's no background music. I'm actually trying to work over here. Um, the second song I'm using today is from the 2022 Metal Month song I wrote. So. Man, we can probably just get right to it, except Frank bought me a coffee. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it so much. John, thank you for support, for the support and being a member. Frank, thanks so much for buying me a coffee. I think you bought me one two months ago as well, if my memory serves me right. So, all right. So we're going to just fly through a ton of stuff. I've got a session up. I've got some guitars and some bass up, but we're going to keep those low so we can hear the drums well. That's why we're here. That's why I'm doing the broadcast so we can judge and listen for, oh yeah, things we might want to buy. Um, also, at tunetrack.com, almost, not every single one of them, almost every Easy X that I'm auditioning is on sale. So tunetrack.com, check out the Easy X's. They're all on sale. I didn't do the math. You might want to figure out if it's cheaper to buy an Easy X pack instead of one at a time. You might want to do the math before you do that in case you're looking to invest. I think it's a six pack or a three pack or something like that. So, but anyway, let's get right over to it. So. Dom, welcome, and thank you so much. David, thank you so much, man. And it's the first time that you've done a super chat. I appreciate it so very much, man. Thank you, David. Really appreciate the support. Shooty School isn't a moneymaker. I'm hoping it will be someday. That would encourage me to do it more. But, you know, you guys contributing to me, it really helps me justify the time I, you know, take away from my girls and try and do this stuff. So thank you so much. Scott. Welcome, dude. And Scott, thank you for being a member. Scott, thank you so much for helping me out the past few days, too. So one other thing is, is um, when you switch from one Easy X to another, which we're going to be doing constantly today, you know, the the unity gain, the, the natural volume that they're out, it's going to jump all over the place. One's going to be real loud. One's going to real, be real quiet. So I'm not compressing anything, but I do have a hard limiter at the end of my signal chain. It's over here in my master fader. So I'm going to do my best to watch the meters. And if I see some red lights peaking, I'll try and duck them down a little bit. So that's fantastic to hear, David. Really, uh, just your, your post comment right there is fantastic to read. That's good news, man. That's, that's why I do it. It's one of the reasons why I do it. I also like this software as well. It's very fun. I hope you guys can read me loud and clear, and um, hopefully the mix is decent today. You can give me some feedback. The idea is you should be able to hear me talk, and you should be able to hear the drums pretty clear. Outside of that, who cares? Like I said, the guitars and the bass are going to be a little quiet. What I, Do I have any more notes? I think that's... Oh, an extra bonus. We're going to do a couple drum MIDI packs, too. So if I remove my head over here... I actually have six different tracks in Easy Drummer. If you didn't know, you can have multiple tracks in one Easy Drummer instance. Each, each track represents a different drum MIDI pack that you can buy separately. And we're going to start, Anthony, with the 21st century drum MIDI pack. So even though we're going to fly through a crap ton of Easy X's, I'm also going to throw some different metal themed MIDI packs as well. So you can keep your ears on the MIDI as well and you know see if you're interested in that i didn't spend a lot of time laying out the song so it might feel a little choppy but you can kind of listen to grooves one at a time and and be the judge first up 
the Big Stage Easy X. This is by Jacob Herman, and I swear this is an undercover metal Easy X. He did Duality 1, Duality 2, the other two metal Easy Xs, which are great, which we'll get to later. And he came out with Big Stage. This is the first official Easy Drummer 3 Easy X, which is why it's not on sale right now. At least that's my opinion on why. But there are a couple presets here that I've that are go-tos. So, and the first one is Hawk. So I'm gonna get my levels real quick and we can listen to default big stage, the Hawk. I swear this is a metal easy X. <laughs> It's fantastic. Um, besides the Hawk preset, listen to Showstopper. If you're into the super clickety click click on the kick, listen to this change. We gotta kinda watch the, the loading bar over here before we can really judge what we're hearing, so. This will this thing will cut through mixes. It comes with cowbell. A lot of people critique big stage because how over ambient it supposedly is. Because it was recorded in like this three four story you know theater. I actually have a um, a review video just on big stage if you're interested more and I actually do an interview with Jacob Herman and the drummer Darby Todd on the side. If you ever want to see like what these dudes have to say behind the scenes besides the tune track official stuff. I did an interview with them. I learned a lot from them. Jacob actually makes me eat my vegetables. He's trying to get me used to hearing more ringy, sustaining overtone snares and I've been having a more open mind to that. He's a great guy. So anyway, uh, Anthony, I think you have a link to that. If you don't, it's down below in the description. But when people critique this for being too roomy, well, what if you just mute the room mics. Listen to this thing. Let's hear a fast beat. <laughs> that kick drum is dangerous. You know, it's like working with a knife right after you sharpened it. Like, you gotta be careful with it. It's fantastic. Um, Big Beauty is another preset. I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but we're not gonna hear every preset of every Easy X because there's no way we can do that. That'd take forever. So I have a select few that I know off the top of my head from almost every Tune Check product that I'm familiar with that I'm gonna show. And then there's a few more that I pulled out in preparation for this stream, so. I assume the mix is decent enough, right guys? You can hear the drums, you can hear me. Oh, this is Big Beauty, by the way, probably because there's a Black Beauty on it. There's not. All right. And lastly, listen to Standing Ovation. Uh, it's actually covered up on my head. When I switch to the Standing Ovation, listen to the kick. It's so dangerously high endy. It's ridiculous. It's even worse than uh, the Showstopper. Here we go. Oh, and as you see me clicking on um, markers up here in Reaper, those are just different paced riffs. So if I hear a sound that's more ambient, I might play a slower riff. If I hear a, a sound that's more tight, I'll probably play a faster riff. I'll do that at my discretion. Like I said, we're listening to the 21st century MIDI pack right now. It's insane. Uh, Lots of <laughs> that thing. Oh, let's. How about a thud on that? That's pretty darn cool. I probably shouldn't spend this ta much time on a single Easy X. That pork pie, man. That's a fun combo right there. 
Um, and what we're going to try and do, hopefully our members, we're going to listen to the original mixes of each EZX that I preview because for two reasons. One reason, it, it gives you a real broad idea of what the, the raw drum sounded like in that session. So you can really judge the EZX when you hear original mix because you're like, all right, that's where all the presets derive from. So it's cool. And in a lot of cases, especially for overproduced metal sounds, it probably won't sound like the most attractive, but it's important to hear also original mix always has the most amount of mixer channels for engineers out there that want to route out every single track to their DAW and mix it themselves. And that's why you want the, the raw, driest sounds because you're going to put your treatment onto it. So let's hear that and then we'll start moving, moving on. Kind of getting a feel of the pace we're going to do today right now. We're just going to take off and fly through it. Yeah, Frank, I, w I always wait to upgrade my DAW until I don't have anything professional on my plate to do. Steven, thank you so much for being a member, man, and welcome. I'm glad you came. Yeah, dude, big stage is serious. Thank you, Dom. I appreciate it. I should be on the payroll. Actually, they do sponsor me once a month, which is this month. Not this stream, though. This stream is just my time for you guys. But the four videos coming out on ToonTrack.com for Metal Month, those are sponsored videos. They sponsor me once a year. Thank you so much, ToonTrack, for that. I appreciate it. Anyway, try not to let uh, chat distract me too much. Coming up next, this is a this is like a curveball. Rick, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for coming, man. I appreciate it very much. Claustrophobic. Is this a metal uh, Easy X? No, it's it's not. But you cannot find a tighter sound in any Tune Track product. I actually tried to go through the Easy Drummer Three Tight Room just to try and justify something to show today. And I could not find anything there. I went over to claustrophobic and it really reminded me of maybe in the mid nineties, you know, I was kind of getting out of my Metallica Megadeth only phase and I started listening to death metal. And a lot of death metal in that era was really tight sounding drums. Like death metal was still in its scooped EQ phase. You know what I'm saying? And nowadays it just sounds monstrous. It's a great upgrade actually. But anyway, it had really tight drums in. I think Claustrophobic could easily pull it off. Let's check it out. Listen to this shred. Let me do a faster riff. Ride bell sounds fantastic. It's not a joke, man. If you if you desire a vacuum sealed sound, the old old claustrophobic Easy X is good. Oh, we should talk about that real quick. Some people are turned off just by old Easy Xs. Um, they don't have as many presets, and the bit rate isn't as high as the newer Easy Xs. Me personally and you don't have to agree with me, I just play something. If I like the sound of it, I go with it. I can't, you know, I don't have like a, a microscope and I can't hear that, gosh, that's not 16 bit, it's 14 bit. Like I can't hear that. So, you know, people that complain about that stuff, either they're just reading the specs and being turned off or they really just have microscopic ears. I I'm not that guy. I use any Easy X. I don't care how old it is. And claustrophobic's really fun. Not only can it pull off metal, like I said, that mid '90s vibe. Here's a different fast riff. Let's see what beats here. Turn down the hi hat a little. Not only can it pull off metal, if you're just looking for inspiration, non-metal players, metal players, any type of musician, if you just want inspiration to come from drum software, you just want it to do something for you and it inspires you to do something, this kit will do it. It has a second snare. And yes, it's a it's a very tight snare, but you can always replace it with any other Easy X and put in whatever snare you own in there. Extra hi-hat. That's rare for Easy Xs. The China has some really interesting sounding metal in here. 
splash. Look, five splashes. This alternate symbol over here has a cute, some cute toys in it. And this isn't called an Octopad. I forget exactly what this brand is called, but look at how many extra percussion stuff you have. So if you talk, forget about what you want for your metal music. If you just want an easy X that is diverse and unique, uh, especially now it's on sale. Also these older easy X's, they go on sit like one off weekend sales or the, actually the Christmas holiday sales are coming. Even though tune track says it's in a holiday sale right now, I think that's like Thanksgiving or black Friday, the Christmas sales, they do like a countdown claustrophobic is one of the ones that comes out for like 40 bucks or something like that. So if you're interested and don't want to pay up, you could wait around for a sale. There's a really good chance. This will be one of the ones coming up. Dude, I, I peed right before I started this stream and I got to go again. What a pain in the butt. Anyway, that's claustrophobic. Let's move on to dark matter. I'm drinking a ton of uh, water and coffee. Uh, the default presets, pretty cool. So, oh, claustrophobic real quick. I'm just trying to make this official. So it is a guide. Here's the original mix, which sounds way more raw. But look at the mixer. Both snare drums have two mics. Each tom is isolated. A track for every pad, each cowbell. Yeah, and a bleed mixer, which is pretty darn cool. So anyway, that's original mix. I gotta try and not forget to do that. Hopefully no one's telling me this is totally messing up since I don't have Anthony in my ear. Rick, what's up, dude? You were just commenting on my video the other day. I recognize your, um, your avatar. Thanks for coming in, man. Slam metal, Steven. Mickey Mouse pad. I assume you're talking about that, um, that distort. Whoops. I assume you're talking about that uh, mini pad. Awesome. I caught up on chat. All right. Get it back to the beginning of the song. Yeah, let's hear some toms. Here's the default preset for Dark Matter. It's called Aris. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Aris Abyss sounds a little bit better to me. I, the kick tightens up. Get back to that Tom riff. Yeah. Splashes. China. How many splashes we got? We got two splashes. Let's hear those. Oh, it's cute. Whew. That China is sizzly in a good way. What's the other China sound like? A low China. High China. Let's go to fast, and I assume that it'll be a shorter decay, so. Ooh. I like this. Okay, I'm gonna react to presets I like. You don't have to agree with me. We can have different opinions. Um, so don't make any purchases based on my reaction. You decide for yourself, you find your sound. I just like that this is scooped and tight. Let's hear this over a fast riff. I have a hardware mixer. It's just out of your view. So when you see me reach up here, it means I'm adjusting the volume of either the drums, guitar, or bass. I'm trying to keep the drums and bass low today. This is a great preset. Uh, white light. Is the phone ringing? Or is it that snare? If you like ringy, there you go. Let's check out original mix. I'm gonna pee right after this one. Hopefully I won't have to take another break. I'll only be gone 60 minutes, so don't leave unless you have to pee too. I'm gonna make it quick. So here's original mix. This sounds great. Listen to that ring on the snare. An octave higher than that whistle. It's way up there. Tune 
two kick mics, two snare mics, every tom isolated. Good. That's some good average stuff. Hate to do this to you, but uh, it should only happen once. 60 seconds, guys. Be right back. Rich and Frank, thanks for saying, because I did redo my entire audio setup kind of for this stream. I actually had a hardware channel strip blow up while I was trying to record my Metal Month videos. That's why my my voiceover audio just sounds off this month. But um, So now I'm all software-based. I had to get rid of the hardware. It's going to get shipped out to get fixed. But um, I think it was actually turned out to be an improvement. So uh, thank you. Oh, in the dark matter, for those of you that are more geeky than I am, did this derive from an SDX? I know it was recorded in the same studio as a, a different of some of the XDXs, but did the sounds derive from one? I forget. Anyway, let's keep moving. The next one's death metal and Anthony, I'm going to switch MIDI packs. I'm going to use the uh, black metal MIDI pack in case you guys are interested in the MIDI. And uh, do, do, do. we're going to move over to the Death Metal Easy X. This Easy X, when you, when you press play at Unity Gain, it seems a little quiet. That's all right. Just turn it up a little bit. And it's so particular. I love this Easy X, and I don't use it a lot. But I, when I want aggressive and ambience, I love the snares in here, too. I, I don't know. Maybe after the stream, I'll start using it even more. It's, it's super awesome. Sean, what's up? Welcome to the stream, man. Oh, thank you so much, Mark. Yes, please like it. Don't share it if you actually have other people that care about this stuff. I'd appreciate it. Whatever you can do, I appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into death metal. Let me uh, do a quick mix real quick. And there's so much ambience in some of this stuff, but just like with the big stage Easy X, don't let that turn you off. You just hop over to the mixer tab. You see if it's an effect of reverb or see if it's a room mic and dial that stuff back and you start getting that uh, more tighter sound. So it's a great first impression. Tons of verb. Ugh. I just did it all day long. All right. Um, Bathiel Blue Kit is the default. Hopefully I said that right. I'm not going to say it again in case I got it wrong. Let's switch. Actually, here's something to talk about right here. 
you'll notice in only certain easy axes that you'll have a no bus effects category. That's a pretty cool category. They're not everywhere, only select easy axes have it. And that's for people that like to route their mixer tab out to their DAW. Typically, not 100% of the time, most of the time when you route a preset out to your DAW, it's gonna sound slightly different than it did inside Easy Drummer. That's because there are bus effects applied. When you use a no bus effect library preset, trying to get the terms correct here so we can teach it right, what you hear is what you're gonna get after you route it out. That's why those presets are cool. We're not gonna preview them today, but these ones are gonna sound similar to this, these ones, but not exactly the same. And the reason why you might start with no bus, or pre, no bus effects presets is because you intend to route them out and you don't wanna be shocked with a different sound after you route them. Uh, uh, I'm actually doing my uh, Mixing with Easy Drummer Mix a Tab series. Hopefully it'll be out by the new year. We're gonna get way into this stuff. That's the purpose of doing a course is there's a lot of details and workarounds and, and all that stuff. So anyway, let's get into it. Let's check out the second preset, which is Metal Black Kit. Oh, we have some Tom Fills. <laughs> All right, I need a beat. No, I don't. <laughs> Let's see if there's another fill. That's cute. What a great, what a great easy X, man. Um, we are listening to the Black Metal MIDI Pack. In case you're curious, there are some great tom rolls in that. Great right for an epic intro. I feel bad talking over that, Tom Phil. This is fun stuff. All right. Well, what do we have? Looks like we got a splash here. There's two splashes. Get a China. That's a real classic, like what I expect a China to sound like. Seems like there's only one. Oh, two Chinas. This is metal. Awesome. Ah, uh, good upbeat China. Um, what else do I got here? Um, two track presets. Blue Beauty. Maybe that means there's a Black Beauty. Let's find out. Yep, Black Beauty right there. Very cool. Ocean DC. The verb totally picked up. Listen to the toms. Scoop. Yeah, definitely a more late 90s, early 2000s in a great way. Dude, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, dude. Um, comment what easy axes and presets you like, and comment the ones that I'm not covering, and, and I'll try and hit them if I don't naturally do it to begin with. All right, let's check out Original Mix. Yeah, they mix these really good because here's the natural sound and we get all those presets out of this sound. It's just, seems like a well-designed ECX. Love it. Uh, mix a tab. We don't have two kick mics. We have two kick drums with a mic in each, two uh, snare mics, uh, each rack toms isolated. It's fantastic. All right, let's move on. Oh, we gotta, let me turn the volume down for this one. We have the OG drum kit from hell. Another unique EZX. Steven, welcome to the stream, man. We will, actually, it's probably coming up next. Yep, Drums of Destruction is next. Welcome. 
This thing's ridiculous. Let me solo it up. Look at all the freaking toys. Talk about an egotistical drum kit, which I don't mind. Uh, let my ego at this kit. Three splashes. One, two. Yep, three splashes here. Uh, three Chinas. That's a double wink, wink, wink. This is a stack. There's another stack under it. <laughs> you know, if you don't mind older Easy X's, or maybe my speech earlier is helping you kind of have an open more mind to them. I mean, look at what's included with this, man. It's sick. Three Chinas, three splashes, actually way more than three Chinas. You just look under the hood. Three, six, seven, eight Chinas. <laughs> Drum fill? Yeah. All right, let's hear a fast lick. Uh, tape. Tape is cool. It, not only is it saturated, I think they compress it quite a bit because you hear a lot of the undertones get raised. Here is tape. Yeah. This EZX sounds so unique, but once you get high gain metal guitars and bass around it, boy, it still pops through. It's a beautiful thing. Five toms as well. Original mix. Whew, original mix sounds great. One kick mic, two snare mics, toms are isolated. Good stuff. There's a lot of snares, no wires. A lot of no wires for a metal kit. That's pretty cool. Um, the drum kit from Hell has some interesting articulations, too, if I remember correctly. Look under the snare. Got flams. Got roughs. Um, an alt center, which a lot of easy X's do or don't have. Of course, Superior probably has those and all those. So that's the drum kit from Hell, man. Uh, it's old. I don't want it. I don't know. I kind of just listening to it. I kind of don't mind it at all. It's it's pretty fantastic. I couldn't, you know, I could be too close to it. I just like tune track stuff, but uh, that is a unique, fantastic sounding kit. I would put that right next to claustrophobic. Like if I'm want some inspiration, those are inspiration easy access for me. Like I want to do something different, not my nine to five crap. Pull those up, man. And I feel good, you know? I think Thomas Hake, I don't know if I can say that right, Stephen, you can tell me if I said it wrong, sampled his snare sound for this one. What what band or what engineer is he? Let me know. Oh, Crowdkill. Welcome, dude. Thanks so much for commenting on my Metal Month video too, man. I appreciate the support very much. Awesome. And I love to hear success stories. I assume Dave was listening to the drum kit from hell. Dirt, thanks for the confirmation. So, Drums of Destruction, its first impression preset is original mix. To me, that's like puffing your chest out, like, look, we can handle this completely dry with no problem. So, I kind of like that confidence, if that's a way to, uh, to mention it. Crowd kill, my pleasure, man. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you commenting in the stream. It's very helpful. All right, well, let's see what it let's see what it does while we're on original mix. There's not two kick mics. There's two kick drums with one mic. There's two mics on the snare. Each tom is isolated. Hi hats. Okay. Typical good original mix. Let's check out the toys. It looks like a splash, but that is dinging like a bell. There's a splash. They look so cute. It's a little bitty. So we can't do that. Sorry. Very cool. Um, how many Chinas we got on this one? That is a China. All right, one, two, three, four. Four Chinas, man. Can't complain. Extra hi hat. It's very rare. So we got another hi hat. Remember, the second hi-hats and easy X's don't have all the articulations for e-drummers, but they do come in super handy. They're super cool. Great. Let's 
play with some stuff. Who mentioned Drums of Destruction earlier? If you're familiar with Drums of Destruction, um, tell me what your favorite uh, preset is. Steven. What sucks is I'm asking you guys to comment, but I don't have Anthony on the mic to tell me what comments are good. Crap. I gotta work on that for the next stream. Uh, anyway, um, Fat Metal Dude is my favorite. The kick's a bit overwhelming. <laughs> it sounds so freaking big. How many frequencies is that thing occupying, right? Listen to that kick. I mean, if you wanna keep that sound, you're gonna have to EQ your guitars and stuff or to, to make way for it. Is I don't have a lot of experience with this one because I just only have so much time in my life to know all the EZX as well. A lot of people stand behind this one and I'm going to kind of hear right now if I agree. This one's called I Hear It All. Really like that kick drum. not too clicky it's got a little woof to it the ring on that snare man let's see what else we got against the ropes it's Chris Adler snare Black Panther there's a ring on the Pearl Reference, Gretsch USA coming. That's a cool, more muted, no ring snare right there. All right. Let's go with a uh, brand four. <laughs> what a ring. If you like ringing, there's some serious ring right there. Yeah, uh, it's hard to say anything bad about this. We covered original mix right up front. Drums of Destruction's fantastic. Let's move over to Duality One. The best one for black metal. You know what? You're at the right stream. You'll be able to answer your own question. If you just come in right now, watch the beginning of it later on. Yaroslav, hopefully I said that correctly. Thank you so much. I appreciate it very much. If I miss your comment and it's an important comment, comment it twice because I don't have support uh, today, which is my own fault on uh, monitoring chat. Here's duality one. We're going to start with mid city. I like, that's loud. There's some original ringing stuff going on in, du in the duality one and duality two. So if you like ringing, you should pay attention to this stuff. I think Duality One's just more unique. I'll put that in the category of pull it out when I'm not sure what I want and try and get inspired because sounds freaking interesting. Oh, look at all the toys. Three splashes, that's a stack. One, two, yep. I'm almost tempted to go through the MIDI and see how the session drummer utilized that splash stack. But there it is. If you want one, three Chinas, four Chinas, four Chinas, man. Uh, Jacob, good job, man. I like Duality 2 better, but let's check this out. Check out letters. Interesting snare sound. Interesting snare sound. There's a ring to it, but I feel like there's a gate closing on it too, so it's like, it's big, it's fluffy, but it stops. I mean, that's a particular style. 
pretty cool. Pilots. I'm only wearing in-ear monitors and I can tell there's some sub frequencies coming out of that sucker. Fantastic kick sound. I don't know these very well. Let me just click on a random one. High and dry. Love the toms. Symbol's a little EQ'd like crazy. Like I said, this is a really original sounding Easy X. Steve Mike, welcome, dude. Um, well. Welcome in, dude, uh, well, you're gonna find out for yourself today, and if you just came in now, watch uh, the beginning of the stream later. Oh, well, let's check out Original Mix. Let's hear what these drums sound like. Something original about this EZX that I like. Duality 2, it's a good go-to. hi-hat's a little loud this one's called meat and potatoes i love this it's it's a ballsy eq man lots of highs super compressed let's check out the toys it has the same setup all right this is a zildjian k china and there's orient and there's a stack let's see are they the same let's just check real quick no, they are not. So, all right. We're hearing unique new instruments. It's just the layout looked the same, and I never thought about it before. It looks exactly the same, but they're different instruments. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that stack is back. <laughs> stack China, two stack Chinas. It's very cool. It sounds dirty and rough in a fantastic way, in a polished way. Is that possible? Um, everyone's favorite preset. This is a popular one. A lot of people drop the name of this one. It's like kick drum. Heck yeah. Pretty fantastic to me, guys. This is the black metal mini pack, by the way, guys. We've been listening to. I guess I should switch it over. Um, everyone's favorite preset. Let's try lower D. The smack on the snare is really great. First impression. Switching over to this. There's a lot of snares here. Just shooting a hollow, you know, metal barrel with a gun. That's some ringing. If you like ring, it's right there. This one too. That one too. That's interesting. Interesting. Great contrast. There's a lot of stuff here. I was telling you the dualities have some interesting ringing. Holy bong. Yeah. It's very, very fun. All right. Um. Oh, there's one called, yeah, too much. Too much question mark. Let's see how, how far we can take this. That is a bong on the snare. And now I'm laughing and enjoying myself. Uh, a lot of people can work with that really well. So. Uh, I'll try not to pretend you know how to read me, or maybe you do know how to read me. So Brawler I like a lot. It's a tune track preset. Sounds great. Try a different riff. Brawler is really freaking good for me. 
that's just a little too loud. Uh, let's check out the original mix before we call it. Let's see what time it is. Alright, I think we can do this. <laughs> Jacob Hermit, everybody. Four kick drum mics, three snare mics, isolated toms, isolated ride. We haven't seen that yet. An isolated ride is super important because I don't know if you've ever mixed real drums before, but the bleed that comes through a ride microphone, you know, I'm not a career engineer, so that stuff drives me crazy, but notice when I sold the ride, there's no bleed coming through. You can really take control of your ride if the engineer who designed these presets, Jacob Herman, um, isolates that ride for you, and then you can really do whatever the heck you want with that ride. It's fantastic. A lot of questions coming in, but I have a lot of content today. Um, so there's good old modern vintage Easy X, which you already own if you owned Easy Drummer 2. And we're just gonna use it for a second. Here's the default preset. Let's see, how far are we? We're pretty far. Let me do a different uh, MIDI pack. We're gonna do, whoops, bring Easy back up. This is now the death metal drum midi pack, Anthony. Here's the default uh, drum kit on the Easy Drummer 2 or the modern vintage Easy X. Kick's a little flabby, but you can just swap it out. Um, there's a metal preset which sounds fantastic. I like to swap out the snip, uh, the kick. Well, let me see. Yeah. This also has the Vinnie Paul signature snare, which is a very non-ringy snare. It's, I actually like. And 80s preset. you want to really accentuate your snare, toss on the 80s preset. Hear it with the room as well. It's, it's a pretty cool snare, so if you already own Easy Drummer 2, you already own this. Let's go to Original Mix. I should try and move a little faster over some of these. Two kick mics, two snare mics, not isolated toms, which is a bummer. What do we got? So there is Easy Drama 3, which is not Americana. There is Easy Drama 3 Bright Room. I'm not gonna spend much time on this at all because you probably already own this. And if you don't, you should probably upgrade to it. Because Easy Drummer 3, I've, I've heard people complaining about having to upgrade and not do it, but I've never heard a complaint about someone who upgraded. So, that's just me telling you what I hear on the streets, man. That's what I hear on the streets. This, the Bright Room's kind of unfair. I mean, it's really freaking good, and it's only a portion of Easy Drummer 3, so... It most certainly doesn't do everything but you can get working really good. I'm just gonna put up Millennium Metal, which is really the default uh, Bright Room Metal preset, in my opinion, though I was just chatting with someone, I forget where, you know, he, he or she liked prog rock a lot. But listen to this, click right through. That kick can make it through just about any mix because of the high end. It sounds great. Let's see if I got any toms in the intro. see some fills there. Let's see what that fill is. It's not shredding fills, which is what I was hoping for, but someone just said prog metal to me the other day, so. Let's hear prog metal. Flap ride, dude. That ride means business. 
Also, when you use certain presets, you can... Let's go back to Millennium Metal real quick. What's cool about Millennium Metal and one other preset is, is you have stacks, so as you select a snare, if you want that snare to be ringy, you can just select this Use Pre-Stack On button and go any kick. Oh, I should be on snare. Default. If you want that snare to ring more, you can go use pre-stack on and select any snare. Now there's a way more decaying ring to that snare. It's, it's a cool, cool feature. A lot of people think I overreact because I like that stuff. I think it's a fantastic feature. Um, so anyway, we all have bright room and look, the main room, just the default. I mean, this is a really crystal clear sounding preset, beautiful default drum sounds. I could easily mix a metal album with just this, especially if you intend on routing it out. Let's see what the routing looks like. Three kick mics, two snares, toms isolated, ride isolated. Um, listen to this. Listen to those two sounds. If you routed that out to your DAW, it'd be quite easy to mix a metal album with that kick and that snare. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Anyway, one of my favorites for a long time. Let me turn it down. It's gonna be loud. Hard Brock Easy X. It's a good riff for hard rock because the room sounds so ambient. This is a, a Bob Rock product. Oh, and it opens up with an original mix preset, so it's kind of boasting. There's not many kit pieces. What you see is what you get, but boy, does it sound confident in my opinion. No China. Mixer tab only single kick mic, single snare mic. The toms are at least isolated. Ride is isolated. It's good stuff here. Let's see. I'm more convincing. Um, this may not have been what Steven's talking about, but this I have a bunch of blabbling comments that I'm going over. One thing is, is um, you know, when you judge a, a drum sound, but you're not hearing a beat you like, sometimes you think the sound is bad. So you have to have an open mind to that. Is the right beat being applied to the right sound? And I'm trying to move fast, so it's not like I'm making sure I handshake every single thing we hear. Um, and another thing is, is which maybe what Steve is uh, meant, I'm not sure if he's meaning this or not, but he's inspiring me to say two comments. Here's the last one. Another thing is, is if we're hearing a really ambient sound over a fast beat, you might go, oh, that sound sucks. But the reality is, is if you hear it over a halftime beat, that sound's going to be perfect and vice versa. If we hear a real dry sound over a slow riff, you might be like, man, that sounds so small. I'd never use that. Hear that blazing fast. And you're like, oh, that's my beat. So you got to have an open mind of what you hear. Check out some of these presets. Bob Rock one. Ugh, it's a, a, that resembles the original mix preset. It's just beefed up. It's fantastic. It sounds really good. Yeah. Now let's check out the third preset before we go. not my style kick drum it's it's stealing too much of attention but i can see why people would love that drum or i can just turn it down let me turn down my kick actually makes a lot more sense just mixed a little for me tune track preset. oh great dane i remember this being a cool preset the kick drum such dangerous high end frequency there what's cool is one tune track or the engineer puts out a preset that sounds like this it makes me go maybe eq and like that isn't so dangerous they're doing it maybe i should do it listen to the click on top of that it's gonna slice a mix rate in half <laughs> john <laughs> yeah man oh thank you steve sorry i'm missing a lot of your comments and, and i know earlier i said comment 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 but I forgot Anthony's not 100% support me today. I miss you, Anthony. You're the best, dude. 
So that's hard rock. We already it opened up with original mix presets. So we already saw that into the dark. Into the dark. Is this is this a metal preset? I feel like it's more just like a a universal preset though you could play some metal with it. Uh, chunky 80s, let's hear what the default preset is. It's really just, that is a ringing from hell ride. That's a, that sound is a statement, that's really cool. I don't think I heard this when I chose this Easy X to review. But let me just uh, go to the one preset that I know I like on here. I have notes. It is take a peek. And I'm not peeking anywhere, so that is saturated. Uh, that's um, uh, pre delay reverb. No, that's the ambient mic. It's a pretty original sounding. Check out original mix. Let's see what this kit sounds like. Ooh, the routing. Two kick mics, three snare mics. Each tom has its own mic. Yeah. This just sounds like well-recorded drums that you're gonna mold to your own thing after you route it out. So that's into the dark. Someone mentioned uh, Made of Metal earlier, and which is a, a fantastic uh, product. Yes, it is. Now that I see the image of it, now I recall. It sounds really polished and it's just the high end, high end on the cymbals just coming at me. Just, this first impression on this seems real inviting for me just to throw and go. Got a splash and a china. Let's check those out real quick. Two splashes. They call that one a bell and interesting sound. China, two chinas. Haven't heard that china sound yet today, I don't think, so it's at least unique. That's blue on black. Let's go to uh, Velvet Tone. Let's see what time we got here. It's a fantastic preset. Let me go right to original mix because I don't want to lose too much time. Do I got one, two, three, four, five more to go? Move a little faster. Three kick mics, four snare mics, a mic for each tom. It's that's gratuitous. Gratuitous. I've used Made of Metal a lot in my time. Here's Metal Machine. This is an oldie, but a goodie, in my opinion. This one in Metal, Easy X. Look at all the toys. Splash. One, two, three Chinas, four Chinas. Five Chinas, and the China Award goes to six Chinas. Uh, the most amount of China Award so far goes to Metal Machine. It's pretty cool. Um, this one in Metal, I just love how Tom's kick and snare sound right out of the gate in the ambience. Of course, I've been using these two for the longest amount of time because they've been around for a long time, but I love these. Not many presets. Let me just go right over to Original Mix, and let's hear a Tom fill real quick. Each kick has a mic, so it's one mic per kick. Two snares every tom, isolated ride. Anthony, if I missed a donation, text me, okay? That I do not want to miss. Um, whoops. So let's move out of Made of Metal. That's fantastic. Um, 
I just, I'm feeling like I got to rush a little bit. So this is my most used uh, Easy X ever. And um, a lot of good stuff has come out since, so I don't use it nonstop now. I just did a huge gig. Millions of people will hear this song next uh, year. And uh, I used the Made of Metal tape. I used Kick, Snare, and all the toms. And then I used Hi-Hat and all the cymbals from Big Stage. And that was the kit I used for, you know, a pro production that's worldwide distributed. So... Even though made of metal, sorry, not made of metal, but metal exclamation point Easy X, even though it's old, I love it. Yeah, I just, the ambience on that snare right out of the gate, it's attractive to me. I need a better beat. Oh, is that a skag beat? Maybe Steven can tell me. He knows more about, uh, metal beats than I do. It's fantastic sounding. Um, so do we beat six chinas? Nope. This does not have six chinas. This one, two. That's a Spock china. I believe Spock is uh, another word for stack. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, please. Um, I'm definitely going to read the chat later. I love this kit. Let's uh, original mix. Uh, one mic per kick, one mic per one mic on the snare, toms. The routing's not as good as um, as Metal Machine, but I really like the sound of Metal. So, and here's Metal Heads. This is more traditional. I'm thinking like late '90s Testament or something like that. Hopefully, I hopefully that makes sense. I love Steven's knowledge. Steve's taught me a couple things the past year. What's that noise? Oh, that's the bell. <laughs> Play 16 notes on that and listen to that ring build up. Woo, but that is, I love statement uh, sounds like that. We got a splash, two splashes, one China, two China. Three China, but not four. What is this? It's just a, a large crash. Fantastic. All right. Let's just pick one. Oh, you know what? This has two original mixes, which is actually cool, because if you're routing and mixing, you have two options. So let's check out. Here's a DW original mix. Three kick drums. Well, one of them's a trigger. Cool. Each tom has its own three snare mics. The other original mix same routing but a different kit now that's a cool bonus for those of you that route and mix with original mix this has two original mixes so that is very cool modern metal all right this is a sickening easy x if you're into more newer school productions this one will probably make your day three chinas very original sounding compared to the other stuff same with that one. Very knocking sound as opposed to sustain and sizzle. Oh, and we're tied for the most amount of Chinas. There's four here, five, and six. So this has six Chinas. <laughs> Interesting. Four splashes. Want to use more than one splash at a time, but there's no slots. You just use an extra instance of easy on a different track. You can figure it out. Big and beefy. All right, Will Putney, he has all good presets, and I want to go through this fast. So here's Dense and Deep. Big and beefy. That's how I like it. Listen to that kick. Some people really might really like that kick. Punchy and balanced. Short and snappy. Good mid 90s uh, death metal snare right there. Warm and wooden. 
Boom! Listen to the high end on that kick. You turn the kick down real quick. Dude, I can turn it down 15 dB and you still hear it. <laughs> Hybrid metal. Another interesting kick right here, man. This is this is interesting. Sound really similar. Ah, uh, different pitches there. You know, this is definitely a toolbox. This uh, there's no bus uh, presets here, which I discussed no bus earlier, and why that's beneficial. I gotta keep moving. Let's look at original mix up. Oh, four kick mics, five snare mics. This dude's name's Will, right? Yeah. Thanks, Will. Um, isolated toms, isolated ride, isolated every single cymbal. <laughs> Whether it was Will or Tune Track, thanks for putting in the effort to isolate all of that stuff. That's ridiculous. This, all right, so this seems like a really good. Easy X to route out. I mean, that's that's serious control right there. Very cool. All right, I skipped a few presets I like, but I got to keep it moving. Now, pop punk. All right, this is a a baller. I don't even know if that's a good word. I'm me I'm meaning to say something complimentary. The limitation is there's only two toms. If that's not a problem for you. This is a serious freaking easy X. Ron from Canada. I doubt he's here today. I haven't seen him in a while. We've been hanging out for a couple years now. He does, has nothing to do with metal. I know he has nothing to do with metal. He always talks about pop punk. I like hard rock metal. Pop punk is serious, guys. Serious. First preset's basic. Such a thick, meaty kick drum, man. Oh, in it. Original mix is the second preset. That's weird. All right, let's get to original mix. Yeah, what a clean sounding kick drum. You can hear like pillow stuffed in there and it sounds good. Um, what do we have? Two chinas. Splash. Two splashes. Alternate snare drum, which are typically tighter and higher tuned, but you know, you want a different snare, you just pull it up here. This thing sounds great. The dynamics on this beat are not heavy. Let me choose a different beat. Oh, we're almost at the end. Let me use a different metal pack. Oh, this is hardcore. This MIDI pack was so easy just to lay out a song. It really was just easy to work with for my style. I was just like, yep, that works, that works. Boom, 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 boom. I really like this MIDI pack. I like them all, but this one just came together fast for me. Um, so it has gone bops. I don't even, my ignorance. I mean, I think a Roto Tom that has a little more depth to it. So there's these alternate instruments. All right, let's get to it. Oh, mixer. One kick mic, two snares. Isolated toms, because there's only two. Isolated ride, always into that. Let's check out some presets. Happy Hardcore. I like that. This sounds fantastic. Sounds fantastic. I really like that sound. It's a bit scooped. Lots of high-end air frequencies sizzling through. I, I like that. Uh, what else we got? Ja, J-A-H. More sustain happening. Metal core. A lot of low end just came in and I'm not even, I'm in in ears and I can tell. I don't know man, this, 
I need to use this more. Um, oh, multi-out presets, which is always a cute little little thing. All right, I gotta move on. Here's a tune track preset. What a thud down below. Orange County. I hear some ringing. If you'd like ring, Pop Punk's got it for you. And we already heard the original mix. So what do I have left? Oh, all right. So Pop Rock, Pop Rock Easy X. This is Easy Drummer 1, the core library sounds. Um, if I wasn't looking at the screen, and what preset is it? General Pop. If I wasn't looking at the screen, I didn't realize this was Easy Drummer 1. Let me turn it down because it's a loud Easy X. I don't know if I would flinch. Let's listen. Oh, that's ambient. Hold on. It's the reverb. Yep. Let's hear a fast beat. Let me mix this real quick. It's a tempo change there. That's why it felt like we just hit a speed bump. I want to hear some choppy MIDI, but I don't know where all the MIDI chops are. It sounds, you know what? This is like the roomier version of claustrophobic. It sounds killer. You might not buy it unless you realize it has 6,000 MIDI files, which would cost you, uh, 12 times three, crap. It would cost you hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get 6,000 MIDI files by buying MIDI packs individually, 6,000. <laughs> ah, just thought I'd slip that in there. Um, it, it really, the MIDI files are, are shorter and they're laid out a little differently because it's an original Easy Drummer product from a while back, but the number is 6,000. Some serious S right there. Anyway, and uh, I remember using this for a long time and I got a lot out of this kit and you can make it sound good. Not that I'm trying to get you to buy it. I get a cough. <coughs> I think I made it in time before I just blew up the microphone. We're getting near the end. Um, progressive. The sounds in here, I don't use progressive for metal music, but I feel like playing it because it's it's close to metal, and there's one preset I like. I got a cough. The default log wig, this is the one I like right here. I'm respectable presets, just for metal, I'm not sure. Actually, it looks pretty cool. China, three Chinas. This one sounds like a stack. Splash, there's one splash. There's just a lot of symbols on here. So, it's a cool easy X default law wig. Let's check out the uh, original mix. Judging by the amount of presets, probably an easy drummer two era. Holy crap. <laughs> Five kick, all right. The award for kick drum microphones goes to progressive. Five kick drum mics. I believe that's more than modern metal. I think that was four, three snare mics, individual toms. So that's definitely a, an interesting bonus from Progressive. Is that it? Is that it?
<laughs> All right. Well, I, I actually made it through the metal easy X's and what time is it? We have time. Let me crack open Superior Drummer 3 for a minute. And there's more MIDI to hear. Let's move to the heavy metal MIDI pack. And there's an observation I had because I didn't check out the heavy metal MIDI pack. I've owned it since it came out. I just used it for the first time this morning preparing for the stream. When I hear someone say heavy metal, I think like it's 1992, like the metal I heard on the radio then or the cassettes I bought that weren't being played on the radio. That's what, when someone says heavy metal, I think that the beats and the grooves in this heavy metal MIDI pack, they're way more modern. So if you have that same judgmental heavy metal term, this MIDI pack's way cooler than what I judge it to be. Um, my butt's sweating. I'm going to take 60 seconds and then we will get over to a Superior Drummer 3 and we'll use, we'll check out the default metal presets for the core program Superior Drummer 3. Be right back. It's Sean from Shooty School. I just released my Easy Drummer 3's Drums Tab course. It's a full curriculum for beginners just starting out all the way to advanced users. From simply defining features to advanced workflow so you can get your own custom drum tones from Tune Tracks Easy Drummer 3. There's 15 videos, over two hours of content. I zoom in and out of the screen so you can see the details and smaller text, and I'm on screen with you while you watch the course. So there is a presence of energy, momentum, and encouragement. Check out the reviews at shootyschool.com and consider picking up Shooty School's Drums Tab course and bring your Easy Drummer 3 skills to the next level. Check out a free video from the course. The link is down there in the description or come over to my YouTube channel, Shooty School, to get a vibe of my teaching and production styles. Rock on. All right, I had to bring up my notes for a different video because I wrote down some presets for a, a different project. Also, I had to pee again. But um, so we're going to listen to Heavy Metal MIDI Pack MIDI, but it's an easy drummer. So I'll just go to settings and I'll go to general and I'll enable MIDI out and I'll turn down the volume of Easy Drummer 3. So you'll notice that Easy Drummer 3 is playing, but we can't hear it. And then we'll just load Superior Drummer right on top of it. Now, doing a MIDI out, MIDI receive situation in your DAW, if it's not Reaper, it's definitely possible. It might just not be such a, it just might not happen the same way, but Superior should receive this MIDI now. Yep. The, uh, the default Superior Drummer uh, drum kit, it's so bare bones. But um, I have some notes from a while back, Aussie Rock. So there's three sub menus in Superior, and this will be fun for Easy Drummer, um, uh, people who are hardcore Easy Drummer 3. You know, here's just what Superior has to offer, and there's some good stuff there, but this entire menu is metal presets, and then you have an Andy Sneep, and then you have a Mark Lewis. So let's just listen to a few of these. And since I didn't monitor chat so much, I'm gonna I'm gonna push back work just a little bit today. If you guys have any comments after I do the superior stuff, do put them in the chat. That sounds great. That's Aussie rock. I think why, you know, doing a, a superior drummer marathon loading presets after presets i don't think it works as well as easy because it takes so long for the presets to load but let's check out black metal this progress bar up here just goes so much slower than an easy <laughs> you 
You know it, Steve. Um, in 86, I don't think I was into music yet. In the late 80s, I was probably listening to, to Def Leppard, and then Injustice for All and Appetite for Destruction came out, and I never looked back. Here's California Punk. Holy low kick. Great. Superior's got a lot to offer, guys. It, when it come, just comes to presets, and then you can tweak the crap out of them here. And, you know, the modular effects in here, you know, I wouldn't look at them as, oh, those aren't my favorite brand presets. Check them out. Quality EQ, quality compression, everything in there. That kick sounds great. Gent style. I don't know if, does Gent have a particular drum tone usually? That is one strong knocking kick drum. John, you're still here, man. Kick butt, man. Appreciate it. There's, there's no original mix here, because we're just going to hear Rod Superior Drummer 3, so I'm just going to hit a few presets and we'll call it. But if you guys have questions, or if you have a request for me to go back and play a particular EZX, put them in now, because when I end this, I'll go back the past, you know, 30 or so comments and try and catch up with you guys before we call it. Iowa, I'm sure it's a Slipknot reference, which will have a piccolo snare, yep. Joey was a pioneer, he really was. I don't know how to say this, metal ayote? Stuff sounds good, man. That sounds really good. Metal organic, I go, this is a go-to for me. And if you don't like how ambient it is, as I explained in my Metal Monk episode one video that's out right now, which you guys should watch after this. Just mute the ambient channel, where is it? Tighten it up pretty quick. What is that? Metal Pearl, yeah. It's so scooped, but so good. Ah. <laughs> I like that a lot. Nocturnal, Nocturnal Phoenix. We're about done, guys. Well, wouldn't be complete without giving Andy Sneep some props, so... Got a cough. alcoholic I mean that's that's up to your opinion you know I mean I think every single thing we heard today is mix ready if you're gonna release a CD that only has drums right but once you get your mix up frequencies start competing with each other and that's why mixing exists so I don't know mix ready is kind of a, a extremely hypeful term I don't think anything's mix ready once you put your guitars and your bass and your vocals to it, because then you gotta EQ everything and make it all fit together instead of it just being a wash, you know? I'm not sure if that was an answer for you. I apologize if that wasn't good stuff. It, you, oh, you know what? That that was a rant because I don't like the term mix ready. If only everything was mix ready, right? You gotta mix it a little, at least. <sighs> sounds great. Yes, yeah, the Mark Lewis stuff all sounds great. Great ambience on that snare. All right, last one. This sounds sick. <laughs> Man, what's gonna happen when, I hope, I mean, Superior Drama 4 is gonna come out sooner or later. I think Easy Mix uh, 3 will probably come out first, maybe Easy Bass 2, so it's at least a year or so out. By the time Superior Drummer 4 comes out, I'm probably not going to have much left to present with Easy Drummer 3, so I don't know if the channel's going to take a hard right turn when that happens, you know? If I miss something, put it in the chat right now and we'll get to it, because I'm going to say goodbye or I'll stick around if you guys got some... Uh, 
got some questions or anything. Let's see. Let's take a look at chat. Sorry, I ignored the chat. I had to move. I had to get this uh, this metal EZX guy done before I go to work. I typically end the stream one minute ago, but uh, can go a little bit late. Thank you guys so much for coming, man. Really appreciate it so much. John, thank you so much uh, for spoiling me earlier. I appreciate it. You as well, Frank. David. Oh, yeah, David. For the 20, man. That's huge, dude. I really appreciate it so much. I don't... Oh. Sven. I don't even recognize your name. Welcome to the stream if you're still here. I don't have time to go through these comments, but if you put a comment down now, I'd be more than uh, happy to uh, take any requests right now. Oh, yeah, and I don't have... This is dead air right now, too, because um, I removed my... Uh, That's better. I got to get Anthony back on the mic for the next one, for the next stream we have, and I got to work out my background music so it's not so dry. Dirt Racer's been here before. Welcome back. Thank you. I will read these comments probably in the next few days when I work on the table of contents for this video. I wonder if you found out what black metal presets best for you. Steve's asking about the best MIDI packs. I mean, I definitely prefer TuneTrack MIDI, but uh, GrooveMonkey does provide uh, MIDI packs that has TuneTrack articulations. It's a reputable vendor. Um, Russ provides fantastic customer support as well. Justin Laidlaw, I don't know if we've, uh, if we've chatted before or not. Welcome to the stream though, if you're still here. One month from now, we'll be streaming live, guys. So I still have 20 of you guys here. You guys, some of you stuck around for the long haul. I appreciate it very much. I think that's going to be it. Anthony, I miss you, man. I'm so sorry I didn't get you on the mic today. It's, it would have worked out so much better with the interaction. Next month, we'll have that down. I wonder what the heck we're going to do next month. It won't be metal month anymore. Shining. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate it so much when it, would you get a monty python reference i tried to th i think i tried to throw one at you earlier <laughs> since you're from england it's the violence inherited in the system oh and uh mark thanks for supporting me on uh reminding me that time zones exist outside of the united states how ignorant of me i'm gonna try and keep that in mind for my next stuff thank you falcoholic you were looking for something i hope i hope you figured it out Oh yeah, you asked me about the mix ready stuff. Sorry if that that rant wasn't intended for you. By the way, I was just you triggered you triggered a key word in my soul, and I went at it. So, Dan Alva, I don't know if I recognize your name. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for sticking around this late. So, the Easy X's are on sale. So if you heard one you like, I, I assume this is like a Black Thanksgiving Black Friday sale. Don't worry, more sales. I don't guarantee this. The sales will come back for this Christmas, though. They do like this 12 days of Christmas type thing, something like that, and they do a crazy deal. So you'll see the older Easy Axe is on sale. I bet for that. Steven. Oh, that's my alarm telling me to go to work because I have a day job. Maybe someday this will make me a living in. People like Steven. People like Mark. People like John. People like <laughs> David. People like Frank, man, yeah. Really appreciate it so much, man. Steve, you're fun too, man, because you, you like to share some knowledge with me, man. We hopefully, oh, Andante's here. I, I appreciate your knowledge, Steve. I appreciate the time you take to resp reply to me in some of the comments, because you teach me stuff now, man, I love it. Andante is responsible for the scheduling of the stream, because when I first started it, I was like, I don't know when I'm going to figure this out. And he just said, do it the first Saturday of every month. And I said, all right, let's give it a shot. So far, it's worked out. So thank you, Swamp Thing. Really appreciate it. All right, I'm going to call it. Oh, do me a favor. Let me. Actually, you don't have to do me a favor, but uh, I'm Sean from Shooty School. If you have not watched it yet, 
check out my first Metal Month episode. And if you like it, please give a comment and help me kick off that video because that video had a bad start. I uploaded it and I had to take it down after 24 hours. I lost all those hits and those views. And it's a bummer because I'm trying to build a relationship with Toon Track. So that one got off to a tough start. This Oh, <clears throat> here's one other cool thing. So watch that when you go. And here's another cool thing. Whoever stuck around to the very end, if you're into shooty school stuff, here's a bonus for you. If you look at my Metal Month 2023 playlist, my next episode's on there already and it's set to unlisted. No one knows it's there. My second video's already up and I don't think I'm gonna release it until this weekend or even next week. So if you're eager for new content, check it out. And if you like that new episode, please comment and help me get it off to a good start because it won't be public for a couple more days. But um, the episode one video I just posted before this is the one I'm hoping you'll watch right after the stream. Thank you so much, everybody, your support. Thank you for the donations, the likes, the comments. Could definitely use support in this channel, man. It's a lot of work right out of my pocket. Anthony, you're fantastic. If you're one of my members, one of my patrons, thank you so much, I appreciate it. And just anyone who commented, it's a huge help. Peace, rock on, and I wish you a merry metal month.